Well, happy Friday morning. Uh, I feel better this morning than I had anticipated. Feeling the way that my head was uh, banging last night, I didn't know if I was going to be able to get out of bed today. But it turns out my uh, uh, lower back is hurting me more than my uh, than my head currently. So it's six of one, half dozen of another. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's a big pile of junk that uh, at some point. I get to light on fire. I uh, asked uh, my neighbor if he'd help me with this to make sure I don't burn the forest down. Uh, we gotta wait for it to uh, oh, <clears throat> either uh, <clears throat> snow again or uh, or get a decent rain um, before I light that on fire. And there's actually some stuff in there that I'm gonna cut out like that. That tree was standing there. Um, I'm gonna cut that out of there for firewood I'm gonna dig through it a little bit because there's still some some usable burnable stuff in there that may not be burnable now but even if I uh, keep it for the little fire pit over there for the uh, summertime boy oh boy look at that need to uh, go through here now uh, with a rake and get all the uh, fine-tuned stuff uh, well, the little things that you can't get with a tractor. I gotta come through here and rake this hillside out, but as you can see, uh, there's the sun. And uh, even at this time of year, it gets uh, full exposure. Um, the way that the sun shifts, I might have to worry about this sycamore tree. I'll probably put that stupid thing on the ground anyway. It's leaning away from the house. Um, but yeah, this is truly a uh, this is worth every penny of what I spent to uh, hire out this guy that uh, I could actually uh, drive up here now. <laughs> it's almost a, uh, a road there, which is kind of strange. I don't know what I would ever need to drive back here for. Um, we'll see how that works out. Now I get to figure out uh, where it is I'm going to try to section this off and how it is I'm going to do it or if I'm just going to literally just plant rows of seeds in the ground um, I still you know I still got some stuff to do my I'm on but this was uh, easily that thick with all these vines you should have seen the piles when he was pushing but yeah let me go explore up here Let's see what uh because yeah, I've never been this far up. And by the time he got done doing what he was doing yesterday, I had to uh, get in the town, or had, had to get in the car and run to town uh, to pick up that chimney sweep. But uh, so far, so good. It's uh, venting out the chimney <laughs> and not into the house. But, and see now where these trees very little vines I can see blackberries back up in there still that was the one bummer about doing this is uh that's where all my blackberries were um, but there were still some over there too and now that this is cleared out maybe they'll fill in back there and I am out of breath I'm in better shape than I was last year but man oh man <laughs> oh cannot wait. All right, world, this has been kind of a busy day. I uh, got my hardwired internet. Maybe this evening I will uh, maybe do a, a live stream for the first time, just because. But uh, you'll be seeing this days later, so don't think it's happening Friday night. This is actually Tuesday. So you might ask what we got going on here. 
I had extra T poles and I had some, some string. Um, before I really get into doing a whole lot of anything on this hillside, um, we need to get a good rain so that I can see uh, how well it does or does not with erosion. But then you might ask what I did here. I had poles and string, and the only seeds that I currently have that I can uh, plant this time of year are uh, peas. Everything else I gotta wait. Um, I gotta wait. But this is just an experiment. I know this is nowhere near, I mean, it's not even a third of a package of seeds. Number one, I wanna see, before I put the rest of the seeds in the ground, um, again, how bad this is gonna erode. Um, and then this is just kind of an experiment because I can plant these peas from um, February until April. So I'm gonna see how this works or if I need to go get an actual metal wire. I'm gonna have to come up with some stuff for the uh, cucumbers to climb on, things of the sort. But first seeds are in the ground. Snow, excuse me, snow peas. And imagine that there's no more washing machine running in the background i've got to let that cool but that is shredded beef red sauce enchiladas uh, with like five different kinds of cheese from the same bag french fried onions tortillas toyed with the idea of uh, putting i have a fresh onion hanging up here in a basket because uh, when you live out in the country you got to hang your produce from the ceiling to uh, not attract mice I opted to go with the French fried onion. God damn. As soon as it cools down, that's going to be delicious. Firewood. Some of you may have uh, seen today's live stream. But, uh, this is the first time I've been back in the uh, black truck since I got pulled over in it. My wife uh, drove it to work two days in a row, or two days out of three, excuse me. probably gonna run out of gas before I get back to town this should be a good time I have to uh, head down the hill um, gotta hit the uh, Dutch tree I'm gonna get some lunch meat uh, some cheese you know, locally grown and sourced things that's as healthy as you could ever ask for uh, I mean the Amish grow it over here, they mill it over there, they butcher it over there, and they sell it right over there. I mean, quite literally. Um, everything that's available inside of their store is uh, is grown within 100 miles of here, and, and, and you can't ask for a, a cleaner, more pure life than literally living off of the things that grow within 100 miles of where you live. I mean, if you had to put a circle, a 100-mile circle, um, that's the cleanest way to live. Let's hope I have enough gas to get to town. Thanks, dear. I love you. I'm glad I put gas in your Subaru, but you didn't think about putting any in the Dodge. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not a Dodge anymore. It's a Ram. Talk about living in an Amish paradise. I gotta drive through this to get
get to town. Fucking beautiful, man. Now, this right here is actually where Walter came from. I found him in the middle of the road right here before that house was even built. There's my gas light. But yeah, that is Blue Hollow Acres. You can look them up. Yeah, I get it. My gas light's on. Fuck. Dodges are annoying about some shit. I don't know how many of you have been here long enough to recognize who that dog is. That's Cletus. Little nobody named it Cletus. That's the uh, second dog that showed up at our house. I drove it around the corner and dumped him off over here. Um, he's got a pretty good life over here. No complaints. What's up, guys? You want to go to town? Didn't think so. If I've shot it once, I've shot it a thousand times, and it never gets fucking old. Balls Chapel, what's funny is that you can take a road called Brown Town and head to Balls Hardware. There's a beat with some butthead joke for you. All right, I, I don't even have words uh, for what I'm about to look at. I'm going to flip you around in a minute and show you this, but this is fucking unreal. <coughs> this is the guy that helped uh, Bill Reynolds install my stovepipe in his house, and this does not reassure me one bit. This be the Rose Hill Ricky. Literally, his name was Ricky, and he was fucking icky. His house burned to the fucking ground. I talked to a uh, Virginia State Patrolman uh, just now inside of the Dollar General that said that uh, he and his wife were not inside of this place, but holy fucking shit. I mean, you could only hope that he and his wife were not inside of this place. This is unfucking real, and it's still smoldering. There aren't even words. I really hope this guy and his old lady are all right, man. I could almost cry. This guy lives in town across the street from a fucking gas station, and this is all the better that he can expect out of the uh, fire department. Jesus Christ, I could only. Oh, I could only fucking. <laughs> I'm not even gonna. Look at that shit. It's still on fire. It's still on fire. I wouldn't even hope to get half of this support where I'm living in this guy's house burned to the fucking ground. Holy fucking shit, man.
Waiting on lunch meat. Came here for lunch meat. I'm sorry. $30 later, I got a uh, pound of roast beef, I got a pound of honey ham, two varieties of snacking cheese, uh, peanut butter bar ends, which, bro, if you don't know what that is, that is a peanut butter chocolate chip uh, cookie cake with uh, cake glaze on the outside of it, and I, oh, and I got a wedge of Swiss cheese, mm. Mm. let me go get some gas and uh, get home before it starts raining. Supposed to uh, storm like a bitch today. Uh, hopefully it, it, it uh, isn't too bad when my wife's on the drive home, but we'll see. I know I shouldn't complain because gas is like $7 a gallon in uh, places in California, but our gas has gone up uh, 27 cents in the last uh, week. Insert the uh, Joe Biden, I did that, here. Goddamn incompetent fuck. Days work when you got goats. Yeah, Move their bowl too far from the fence for me to uh, feed them from the outside. You know, and I come out here three or four times a week. Try to get involved. However, I'm filming this because this is hilarious. What's going on here today? This is some gay prison sex going on. This guy doesn't even have balls. He's over here humping this other one. What you doing, Mom? Come on. Try to spend some time out here. Yeah, see, I just won't pitch it. This will do. I just won't pitch it. These two are humping each other. They're breathing awfully heavy. You must know there's a big old storm coming, huh? Why are you sniffing my butt? Alright, okay. Yeah. I know, Mama. Then there's this guy. You should just put up a tripod. Watch me chase him around. Stop chewing on my shirt, goofy looking bastard. Boom, 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 boom. What? Hello. Yeah, I'll feed you as soon as I get out of here. Your, your feed's literally right there. I just couldn't reach the bowl. I had to stop chewing on my pants. Jesus Christ. You ain't that hungry. I promise. There it is. <laughs> oh. You two are something else. And you got to stop chewing on my pants. Your food's literally right there. I'm getting it. Give me a minute. 
Boy, oh boy, I look old and tired, as I am. That's two days in a row I've taken an afternoon nap. Uh, it's uh, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, but it looks like it's about 6 o'clock. Big storm blowing in. Uh, but what I'm learning about this particular area is uh, we're pretty much on a shelf up here. Um, and that like... 30 miles that way, 30 miles that way, 30 miles that way, 30 miles that way. They all just get destroyed with tornadoes. And we just get a little bit of wind, a little bit of rain. We're, uh, and especially this, this little valley that I'm uh, kind of, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna say tucked away, but like I'm, I'm kind of down in a hole. Like uh, if we were ever gonna get uh, tornadoes, remnants of a hurricane whatever it's like they they hit the edge of the mountains that, that surround this area and they just break up ain't got to worry about it which is cool um i mean minus the uh, rain event that, that led to all that gravel being washed in uh last march before we got here which was like the uh, thousand year flood um and i mean you'll see again i'm, I'm wearing it's 70 degrees outside today you know the best part about today? Not, oof. It's definitely not the gray hair that I need to uh, shave off. Is that it's going to take me less time to upload this video than it will take to actually process this video. Maybe if I whisper like this, people will think I'm Joe Biden. And that I'm getting things accomplished even though I'm a fucking retard. <sighs> anyway. Uh, no more nine hour uploads uh because it took i mean it, it would take depending on how long the, the video was it took somewhere between six and a half and like 14 hours to upload a video on the satellite that i had i now have hardwired internet that i can download at six megabytes per second and the upload speed supposed to be the same we're gonna find out i gotta go do something about this i got like the, the world's worst case of heartburn um You'll see a picture somewhere in this video of the uh, the hamburger, or I should say the cheeseburger and the onion rings that I uh, ate for lunch today that then sent me to the nap uh, that now has me with the uh, unbearable heartburn. Got everything I was supposed to get from town today and then some except for Tums. And we've got some, uh, we've got some antacids left over from a dumpster once upon a time, that uh, kind of make your mouth taste like a what I would imagine a, 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 a maybe a dead cow vagina would taste like. They're fucking nasty. Um, they go down minty. They don't fix your heartburn, and then they turn from mint into anus. So my wife's gonna pick up some Tums on the way home. I've got the uh, Twin 125 uh, from Daytona NASCAR races tonight. The uh, Truck Series race tomorrow night. The Xfinity Series race on Saturday. And then the Daytona 500 on Sunday. Holy shit. I'm out here having an exciting conversation with myself. Oh, talk dirty to me. The Daytona 500 is on Sunday. You mean I get to overeat and take a nap on the couch at the same time? <laughs> yes. Daytona 500 is on Sunday. I love all you that watch this, but fuck y'all till then. Uh, next couple of days are, are going to be spent uh, getting back into racing next-gen cars and, and figuring out what the fuck is going on uh, with racing. And I, I will not probably film anything until Monday. And it isn't because I'm getting a headache. No, it's because NASCAR's back on my television. Hell, I might even shave for that occasion and figure out how to make another casserole. To which I showed you a, a red chili enchilada sauce casserole in this video. Oh, so good going in. We won't talk about coming out. Perhaps the term even coming out. Uh, might even get this video flagged. Who knows? There's five minutes of your life you'll never get back. We'll catch you next week, fuckers.
have a good weekend watch some racing let's go kyle bush let's go brandon motherfuckers <laughs>